create a beautiful makeup look inspired by the sunrise as I drive to work in the morning, using tones of blue, orange and gold to create this gorgeous makeup look that is really flattering on the eye and I think it's really fun and creative. If you want to see this look then please carry on watching and I'll show you how to create it. First of all, of course, we're going in with Max Paintly Paint Pot as a base all over the eye using a flat synthetic brush and then just blending it in with my finger. Then you want to dust a light peachy colour into the crease of the eye. I'm using Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow on a fluffy brush. This is just going to help blend out the eyeshadows you put on later on to create a really seamless look with a really easy hand. Then you want to go ahead and apply a blue base to the eye. I love this Barry M Super Soft Eye Crayon Pencil which I've used in this tutorial. I'm applying it all over the eyelid and then just blending out the edges with my fingertip. Once you've applied that base to the eye, you want to go ahead and apply a similar colour of blue, like a sky blue colour, along to the eyelid using a flat shader brush. I'm using MAC Aquadisiac eyeshadow which is the same colour blue but with a bit of shimmer. Then I'm taking a sort of burnt orangey colour into the outer corner and the inner corner of the eye. This is from the Makeup Geek Vegas Lights palette on a flat shader brush. I'm going to kind of merge those two colours together. You're going to keep reapplying them to see what the finish you get, to get the finish that you like even and then you want to blend it out with a fluffy brush. Just don't go nuts round the middle when you blend because obviously you don't want to get rid of the blue. Add a tiny bit of cocoa bear into the crease as well on the same fluffy brush. Then you want to go ahead and apply some liquid liner or felt tip liner in my case. You can use liner in any way, shape or form you want to. I just think that the winged liner really complements this look. And as you can see, the tape that I'm using here just creates a really easy, seamless finish and boom, that peeling that tape off is so ridiculously satisfying. <laughs> then you want to go ahead and curl your lashes for a nice lash lifting effect. Apply your favourite mascara. Mine is currently the Collection Lengthening Mascara. I also applied some falsies for this look but I can never get it on camera properly so I apply them off screen. Then I just dusted a tiny bit of that gold and the burnt copper colour under my lower lash line to kind of round off the whole eye look and then blended that out with a fluffy brush. I took a black coal pencil and lined the upper water line of my eyelashes, uh, eye uh, eyes. <laughs> And so you want to line the upper rims of your eyes and then take your favourite false lashes. Obviously, as I said, I did this off camera just because it's very hard to get on the actual camera properly. And then you want to line the inner rims of your eyes with the same eye pencil we used as a base for our eyes. I think this is a really interesting effect as opposed to just using white or black. Then you want to dust a bronzer all over your face just for some added glow to your face. I'm using Benefit's Hula Bronzer on my favourite Sigma Tapered Face Brush. I'm using Makeup Geek's Bliss Blusher for this, which is a nice peachy blush. I feel like it complements the look really well. This is on a Zoeva Luxury Cheek Brush, I think. And then on a fan brush, I'm just taking a little bit of MAC Soft and Gentle. For lips, I'm actually using a lip gloss and just a lip gloss alone. I'm taking Tiny Bear's Lip Gloss in Chic. It's a nice nude lip gloss and it's really easy to wear and very comfortable on the lips. And that is the finished look guys, I really hope you enjoyed this nice quick tutorial and you feel inspired in some way, shape or form to take inspiration from everything and turn it into a beautiful makeup look. <laughs> um, thank you for watching guys and I shall see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye!